Hi, dear friend. This is Shamsul Islam Khan. I'm commodity expert and I'm dealing in commodity business since 1989. So I have almost 34 years of experience. And based on my experience, I can forecast the prices of uh, global commodities markets and then the situation. Last Monday, 17th July, Russia has suspended Black Sea Grain deal. That has jolted the world's commodity market. The same day, the commodity prices surged up, especially the wheat prices went up and then the soya bean, corn, all the prices were increased. And this was the, taken by the world market as a surprise and a shocking news because the world is already facing inflation very high food inflation from America to Europe, from Far East, Asia to Africa, everywhere the inflation is, inflation is pinching the masses. And then the income has reduced also already because of the pandemic, there was also massive layoffs and then high interest rate. These all coupled together to make inflation on all time high in Western world, in America, in Asia, everywhere, every part of the world. Soon after Russia announced deal ended, India came up with just three days after they announced a ban on export of coarse rice varieties, mainly consumed in South Asia, African countries, and every part of the world. India is, as you know, that India is the world's largest exporter of rice, enjoying around 40 percent, above 40 percent share of the global market. Uh, last year, 22. In, they have exported around 22.2 uh, million ton as compared to global exports of 55 million tons. So this shows that the India has very important role in uh, commodity markets, especially in rice market. India is the second largest rice producer in the world after China. Indian decision on ban export of rice is a perfect storm at a moment when th the world Global prices of wheat were increasing because of the Russian decision and then it has also affected everywhere, every rice producing country also because the world now the commodity players are in a speculative trade and they are thinking and they are talking about this that the repeat of 2008 when we saw the grain drain and the prices went up after the increase of wheat prices and this gonna masses already who are suffering with the high inflation and we have to see how it will affect you because when we see the consumption of uh, rice it is second largest consumption of rice after uh, corn corn has uh, around 19.5 percent if we see rice share global rice share we can see that india has 40.5 percent of global market share and then Thailand enjoys 15.3% market share and Vietnam has 13.5% of market share. And then other countries are including Pakistan, they have around 30.5, as uh, 30.7% of global market share. India exported last year 22.2 million ton of rice, whereas the global exports were 55.4 million ton. Asia consumes, Asia consumes 90% of global supply of rice and South Asia including Bangladesh and all other countries like Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, they all consume rice and they are also importer of rice. They produce rice also then they are the, like Indonesia is the second largest uh, producer. For me this Indian decision is a, taken as a surprise because when we see their local prices because they have mentioned the reason that because of soaring local prices, domestic prices, they have taken a decision to ban export of rice and that the, the price increase was seen as per the Indian government 8% last year. So this is not a big increase in prices but the, in fact is the reason of imposing ban is because of the political reason. Now the elections in few states are there and then they have ap shown apprehension of a shortage of rice production uh, because of the El Nino heat uh, heat waves and the heavy rains in the rice growing areas. India has repeatedly proved that not a reliable supplier of food grains. When we see in the history in 2007-8, they banned export of rice, all the coarse rice varieties, including punni rice and, and their PR varieties. After that, we have seen last year, they have imposed 20% uh, duty on coarse rice variety 
and then they ban export of bro uh, broken 100% broken rice. This has already spiked inflation globally, but now this decision is going to be a big hit in the market and then the prices will be increasing and then you know that when staple price increases, it automatically increases the rest of the all commodities like the automatically prices will jump up, the corn, soya bean, millet, uh, guar, every sorghum, all, all the things, all are going to increase. The world was struggling to control the inflation by increasing interest rate. If we see the interest rate in USA and then UK is all time high, then the inflation we have seen is decades high, but it was very difficult to control them. And now the world has to decide and have to take similar action last year when Russia banned uh, exports from uh, because of the war of uh, Ukraine. Now the UN and US has to take this same decision last time, the same uh, after Ukraine and Russia conflict. The US Secretary of State chaired a meeting of uh, global food inflation to call action for ministerial meeting. That meeting was you know, very effective and then in May 2022 after this meeting, all of a sudden the prices of wheat were in decreased and started falling. We saw in May the prices were around 520, but after that decision the prices came down and then uh, the Russia had a deal, had an agreement for black sea grain export so they can, uh, they will not restrict export of uh, grains from there and that was the reason the prices have come down and last we have seen before this uh, decision of Russia, international market wheat price was around 232 a dollar for Russian futures and market uh, EU market was also very low but all of this sudden the prices have increased and it will spike inflation globally. I foresee global food security is in peril because Russia has suspended because Russia is largest exporter of wheat and despite this fact that wheat producer largest producer is China and after that is also India largest producer of wheat. But India has suspended already the wheat exports earlier uh, last year and then China is not exporting mainly aggressively rice or wheat but they are importing from uh, different source of uh, origin to meet the local demand. For your information I would like to point out that, that there is a forecast for wheat production around 790 million ton. So world has enough stocks to feed the people. And the future forecast for wheat con consumption is around same, it would be like around 780 million ton. The problem is that again, there's a no shortage of grain. There's plenty of grain wheat available, but as we know, as we have seen that during the pandemics and then the conflict, it always distorted the supply and then it has created panic buying globally. And that's the reason the prices have went up to sky high. We have to, con we have to decide about the future because the global uh, food security is in danger. We have to evolve some kind of strategy. That in Pakistan, as also a great exporter, we saw that in 2008, there was never imposed a ban on export of basmati rice or export of non-basmati rice. But, but India has imposed ban at that time also then again last year the prices were increased in pakistan the coarse rice variety almost become double the basmati prices almost become double the broken rice price increase were around 70 80 percent but pakistan has not banned the rice exports because we want to feed the people we don't want to disrupt supply of food grains in the international market and we understand very well because we have faced recently last uh, two, few years that we have faced a shortage of uh, wheat in Pakistan and despite of international high prices we imported a huge quantity to fill the gap of uh, our demand and supply and right now again Pakistan is facing uh, wheat prices are soaring up and then the sugar price is soaring up rice prices already high but Pakistan is behaving like a responsible part of supply chain and exporting or grain without any imposing tariff. India imposed tariff and that also resulted around 150 to 200 dollar per ton price hike in the international market. And that was the, you know, the fastest 
were forced to pay the high price of poor grain. Indi India is using commodities, grains, sugar, rice as a tool to realign its relationship with the world. Recently, they have also announced that they will consider export of their grain if some com uh, country comes and requests them. And then it is against there is a problem that they are using as a weapon because they are the largest producer of wheat, they are largest producer of uh, exporter of rice. They should understand. So now the world should understand that your spending on kitchen is going to multiply again. You are worried about paying, spending about the, on your food. Rice world production for 23, 24 is estimated 521 million metric ton. Whereas the world rice production in 22, 23 was 503 metric ton. So the production is increased. Production has upward trend, but the distortion, but this ban, then the tariff imposed, all these things are increasing the prices. Sugar production is also very encouraging, like, like 22, 23, world produced around 170.5 million metric ton, up 1.9 million metric ton from 2021. Consumption is around 176 million metric ton. And 23, 24, the forecast is around 179.2 million metric ton. So there is no shortage. The nature is helping you. Despite heat wave, El Nano effect, the production is sufficient available. But the reason is that to fetch higher prices, some countries, some producers are imposing tariff on their produces and they are b imposing ban because I think this ban will be not m longer than two months because they have to lift up the ban from exports. But this two month is too is a too big time for speculators. They are going to increase the food prices and they are going to add miseries of masses. The world should call emergency meeting. The UN should call emergency meeting to address the global food security. Thank you very much. If you like my vlogs, please. Subscribe my channel, share with your friends, comment if, if, if you want to, to do some suggestion. If you have some suggestion, please comment in my vlogs and I will try to improve my vlog. Thank you very much. Thank you.